Hello scholars, um, I am about to show you how to do Bartlett's test for sphericity in SPSS. It's quite easy, um, just couldn't remember how to do it in class. So here we go. All right, so we have our data set um, and really what we're, we're trying to do is we're testing for linearity. Our first test was a bivariate correlation and we're looking for significant correlation among our dependent variables. Um, but not too significant, I guess is, you know, one way of saying it. So we want to maintain that coefficient value under uh, 0.8, but still be significant. So now we're in a test for sphericity um, and we go to analyze and we go to dimension reduction. We click on factor. We move all of our variables into here to the variable list. And then all we need to do is click on descriptives and see here it is. Woohoo! I remember it. All right, click on that. KMO and Bartlett's test this for a city. Hit continue and hit OK. And then once you do that, your um, output file will come up. And the first box right here is the test. So the KMO, you don't need to, that's actually having to do with factor analysis. But for um, sphericity, we have Bartlett's test this for a city. Um, remember, we want it to be significant. So we want them to be similarly or linearly related. So anything that's less than 0.05 means that we meet the assumption of linearity. So you will report uh, this, this uh, statistic um, when you are talking about your data assumptions and um, that, the, that the actual value is 41.46 and our p-value is less than 0.001. And that's it. Pretty simple and straightforward. If you have questions, let me know. As always, call, text, or email.